Here again, and this essentially applies to all other techniques as well as music in general, it's really useful if you have a clear idea of how what you're playing is supposed to sound. Um, this figure... This figure consists of two elements. One is the movement of these three fingers. It looks like this. It's like if you have water on it and want to get rid of it. It's exactly like this. So, if we move this to the guitar, we've got this. You hit the E, B and G string with the upper side of your nails. And as the fingers return to their starting position, they pluck the B, G and D string, but no louder than the clicking of the strings. Do that for a while to get a feel for this movement. The second element is a thumb punch that comes together with the movement of these three fingers on the one. The thumb is brushing the E string and landing on the A string. So this is a little tricky because the movement doesn't come from the thumb, it comes from the wrist. So actually we have a combination of two movements. One is this, and one is the rotation, the wrist rotation. So together it's this. Oops. So, putting these two elements together, you can play this groove. I'm in E minor now. Let me say a few things about the syncopation. So the one and two and. Um, I'm using my left hand to control the length of the notes. And the pattern is dead, short, uh, no, dead, long, long, dead. So it's dead, long, long. This generates a lively groove which works with any tempo. Well, give yourself time to really nail this groove. Um, it might take a while, but the good thing is it will allow you to create and develop your own unique sound. And once you've found your own sound, um, try combining it with other elements of my other videos or any technique that you like. <laughs>